Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds, and today I am going to make a, uh, what's it called, a water mill, or not a water mill, like a sawmill, that's it, a sawmill by the, uh, woodcutters camp over there, and, uh, this is kind of impromptu, I haven't decided exactly on the spot or the design. I've never built one before. I'm in my head trying to think of a way to make the wheel on the water. Uh, I'll probably be doing a time lapse because it's going to take me a long time. Well, not a long time. It's going to take me probably a good half hour to build this because I have to probably have to tear stuff down as I think and rethink the structure, but I think I'm going to build it right here and there's going to be like a wheel right here that catches the river. It won't actually catch the river, but it's what it's meant to look to do. And I'll probably actually flatten this area out a little bit so that I can have a nice flat spot for the logs to come through. But anyways, so you're going to see a time lapse of that. And I'll probably have some music going during the time lapse. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and begin pretty quickly. Okay, so I finished the uh, water mill. Er, it is a water mill, but it's a uh, sawmill. Is what it is. Uh, there's the wheel I ended up with. Uh, I was originally thinking about doing something with half blocks, but I couldn't get them to work mostly because you can't really get them vertically up there. I would like to have, like, you know, the half blocks coming out of the sides here and there because they would look like paddles. But I'm. I guess it's not too bad having to settle with this blocky ideal because I mean the game is essentially blocks with a few exceptions so it's not too bad and uh, as far as the saw blade I was at a loss I couldn't think of anything better than just using fences because it's the thinnest uh, block item that there is in the game really vertically wise, so it wouldn't make sense for it to be horizontal, then I might like use a... I could, I could have used a metal fence now that I think about it. Uh, I might change that later. Uh, but here's the uh, shaft, the drive shaft, which comes here. Originally I, was, I had it a little bit higher, but then I realized that uh, it needed to be either lower or above. I chose lower. 
And then this roof is just basically half block, full block, half block, full block, half block. And, uh, yeah, and here's where the wood, the cut wood comes out, the planks. And here's the, uh, the timber. It's, uh, looks kind of weird, really, but, you know, there's no, uh, sideways laying logs. And... I'll probably at some point off camera make a little path up to the uh, woodcutters camp right here. But I'm not going to be doing that today. And then this fencing here is just to keep people from falling down or walking onto the moving drive shaft. But this is the sawmill. Uh, I think what I'm going to be building next is uh, some more houses over in that area. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching.